first night Ortiz Mountain Survey. Uh, we're uh, just above a lookout spot we found and uh, we've been breaking trail on top of what looks like Bigfoot, Bigfoot sign all the way up and I'll get you a little look around base camp. Here's Melissa. Parabolic dish mic. We've got that set up facing up canyon. Camp marker light. That's Josh Lawrence right there. I'll take you through here and uh, take a look at the uh, game cam set. Game camera set up on that tree right there. Facing in the camp, the only way you can come in on us. So if something comes in and surveils us. Anything should come up through these trail sets up here. There's another trail that runs down around the back of that large tree that we've got our game cam on here. And it goes down below and then we've got a big shielded lookout spot that's been cleared by something down there. All these broken trees, they continue up in a big trail. It's just been tramped and just beat down. Okay, what I'm showing you now is a group of sticks here. These sticks are laid across this trail. And this trail we've been following now for about, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe 200 feet or a little more. And it's all smashed, busted, cleared, wide open. And here what you've got is, right here on the ground, you've got a cleared patch to step. And we just saw an old print just behind this. And you go up and they've assembled a bunch of sticks here. And then they got another clear place to step. It's too big of a gap for us to step it. It's about seven feet, but these are clearly assembled, and I mean, there's no joke to this. This is they're set nine a whole series 90 degrees to the trail, and then they have some perpendicular just in line with the trail stacked on top. It's a stick trap, we can't get through this without making a ton of noise. And it's but this isn't the first one, they've, they've been doing it all along this trail, it's not stuff that's just fallen. And a lot of the trail has just literally been plowed out, and I mean just plowed down and the funny thing is there's no actual trail here like clear dirt like a bear deer or anything we've been here in hoops up the canyon uh, I don't know maybe eight or nine altogether uh, the last two were pretty clear and we just got some sounds to the east of us sounds like whatever's up here is alerting each other of our presence because we're walking with the red lights on and uh I guess they'll probably be moving around us here pretty soon. That's what it already sounds like. So, anyway, that's a stick trap. Josh is now playing the recordings that we uh, did of the Ortiz Mountain Howls. He's just playing it through his phone directly from YouTube. And we're going to to see if it gains any interest here. Actually aiming a large parabolic microphone uh, just above the area we're now standing at base camp number one.
base camp first morning <clears throat> after the uh, first night out base camp number one got some water on for coffee okay we did our first night uh, we've only slept a couple hours we didn't bed town until about 4 a.m. Uh, we had a little bit of whistling and uh, not a whole lot else that I remember anyway. We had sound recorder going all night and game cam, so we'll have to review those later. So, okay. Say good morning, Josh. Good morning. All right, we broke camp, and we're about to go down the hill and find a uh, missing sweater that got snagged last night when we stopped, and to video the lookout post that's made and assembled with three big rocks. So this is... Camp upon leaving. Yeah. We're going to store our gear here, as you can see in the tree. We'll be off down this direction. I might as well film this. I want to take note here of how much of this stuff is snapped off all about the same height all the way through not just here but all the way up into the distance here and just keep your eye on that about three to four to even five feet off the ground everything is broken off this trail has been mowed down by something very big We've been using it pretty frequently, apparently. Pretty soft dirt in between the rocks. Quite a bit of cactus, as you can see. So where would you say Bob is from here? That way. I'll show you. right through here you're gonna notice I mean these trees have been broken off again three to four feet high everywhere through here and just trampled not snow damage not wind damage I mean trampled like uh, flattened into nothing a lot of it pretty amazing we're gonna get closer to these large rocks here and what we're gonna look at there's this group of three rocks here, very large rocks. Inside, everywhere out here is this is debris, six branches, pieces of trees. I mean, just everywhere. Littered with rocks. There's almost no clear ground. It's almost all completely littered with rocks, as you can see. Until we go over inside the three rocks. And except for what we kind of knocked through here and brushed around a little bit last night, this area has been completely cleared. Or more than once it's got to be maintained cleared because it's got overhanging dead tree limbs and things like that yet there's really nothing inside of it so something's been keeping this whole thing cleared out for a purpose what you're going to notice is if i use this reference point for one i'm instantly looking at doug's house in a perfect view where I can see when Doug comes and I can see when Doug goes. So up we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to go ahead and return up the trail here. We'll go pull the game camera, pack up, and uh, head on up to the higher base camp that we'll be staying at tonight. All the way, we're going to work on collecting evidence and trailing these guys up higher into this real boxy canyon in the top. Some of these branches aren't anywhere near the trees they came from. Some of the trees are uprooted completely 
and there's no holes from the stumps so everything's been drug around and tossed around in here I mean, we were fighting dense walls of foliage last night until we came to a point and suddenly it all broke into open areas like this or just big trails of smashed debris and uh, that was that I mean it was like another world once we got past a certain point a lot of occupation looks like a lot of traffic through here no hard soles there's no definite trail a lot of what looked like soft soft soul prints and beat downs but no claw marks we saw some deer print rabbit print so it's still looking really really positive for uh, Bigfoot activity not just one animal possibly family units or uh, or several that pass through here between the Santa de Cristos and the uh, Sandia range Give you a real quick idea of what this up in here looks like. How thick it is. I'll go ahead and let you hike with us for just a minute. It's kind of etheric, kind of like fantasy realm. See, this stuff is uh, really tore up in here. I mean, just ridiculously so. You can see this is extremely difficult, very steep terrain. We're having to go pretty well straight up through this mess right now.